Welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. With me today, two experts from one of the most interesting um, industries over the past certainly year and a half, uh, the energy industry. So we have Gerald Bailey, uh, the CEO of MCW Energy, and also Donald Clark, the chief geologist of MCW Energy. So let's just start with the overall sector. Where do you right. see the energy industry right now? Well, first, thank you, Jane, for having us on to tell our story. But uh, energy is always a big topic. It's, it's, a, it's an overriding uh, issue that covers uh, so many areas. And uh, right now, it's all under a lot of pressure because obviously the oil price is, a, is front page news around mm -hmm. the world now. So it, it provides an opportunity for people to also figure ways to survive as well as to, to keep the energy flowing. So it's been, it's been rather negative, but I think uh, we're finally beginning to see some uh, improvement, and I believe this will begin to stable out. Now, do you think of the talk this week, the high-level talks of a possible production cut uh, from the OPEC countries might happen? How would that impact your company? No, I think it will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that the fact that uh, several of the countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, got together with the Russians and they began to at least talk about freezing you know, the current uh, level of production. They are very powerful, so that will have an impact on other, other countries. So that is a positive, and I think it will, mm -hmm. will set a, a precedent to start moving to possibly some very uh, minor uh, but production costs mm -hmm. that would have an effect. Our company is not so directly affected. We extract the oil from oil sands. Now, a lot of people have heard about that around the world, and it's not always been a good story because of the, the use of a lot of hot water and steam to loosen up the oil. We don't have to do that. We have a very environmentally friendly, no water, closed loop type system. So these oil prices, even though they affect what we can sell our product for, uh, we do it at a very uh, cost-effective means, where like oil is now in the range of the, the low 30s. We can do that uh, same work for, for 30 or less. So right now, we're, yeah, we're ready to break even, but typical oil sand stuff is in the 40 to $55 range, so that's a problem. But, and again, without uh, just taking all, all of your time here, the, uh, the remediation aspect of our project, project, which means we can clean up oil spills also is uh, irrespective of the cost of oil. So we kind of have a, uh, another back, uh, uh, back channel way there that we can do other things to make a little money. Well, so we're is, not as directly affected. And that is very interesting from an investment point of view. So Don, can you expand on that, the geology of this, and how does the process work? The uh, geological formations in Utah, right at the surface, so it's very easy surface mining. Uh, we'll go down to a depth of approximately 200 feet. The uh, bitumen that we'll be mining is in the range of uh, 6 to 10 percent weight percent oil. Um, we use a process that uses light hydrocarbons and alcohols as a solvent, um, which is very, very beneficial because uh, we're not using chlorinated solvents. No. Um, chlorinated or heavy, uh, dense, uh, non-aqueous phase liquids, things of that nature. So from an environmental perspective, very, very easy for us to recover the solvents for reuse, or we can, <coughs> excuse me, or we can leave a small amount of the, uh, the solvents um, in the product as a blended product and adjust the API accordingly. You know, it's very important that that story is told, though, because you may get lumped in with other companies, the, the protesters or whatever may not know the difference between all of that science well, and all the technology. that's key to us. That's sure. key to us that uh, uh, people understand that we are not uh, just like everybody else. In fact, I, I should tell you that, uh, you know, I, I'm a former president of Exxon. I was president of the Arabian Gulf region. So I, I've been in this business for over 50 years now. And when I first looked at MCW, I realized that they had come up with something that no one else has. And people say, well, how can you be the first? Well, yeah, well, probably the Wright brothers got asked the same thing. You know, you, someone finally cracks this deal. And MCW did that. So I get a lot of opportunities thrown at me about doing things. But I chose to get in on this deal and bring my background and my experience to it to help direct it through this minefield of, of various uh, scenarios that affect cost and production and supply. So I'm very pleased that uh, what I've seen so far, we've made great strides and we're, we're a viable company now. We built a plant, we produce oil, 
and uh, we're looking to build even a, a larger plant. There you go. And there are some new technologies on the horizon too, Don, um, in energy? With our, if we just look at MCW's technology, uh, the fact that we recycle so much of the solvent, mm -hmm. we've sent um, the post-process sand to uh, laboratories for analysis, and it gets over 99% of the oil out of it. So the sand goes back and can be used for mine remediation, and it doesn't cause you touched upon before with the environmental problems that they have in Canada with tailings ponds. Uh, use six to ten barrels of water for every barrel of bitumen extracted in Canada. So then they take that water and put it into large tailings ponds where uh, the sediments slowly settle out and then they try to recycle as much of the water as they can. But the hot water extraction process used in Canada uh, only extracts 85 to 90 percent of the oil. So there's a considerable amount of oil that's put into the tailings ponds with the, with the, uh, the tail and sands, and uh, you have oil slicks, um, problems with uh, ducks and different uh, waterfowl, um, and that draws a lot of the, uh, uh, the protests. Yeah. Um, that it's a more efficient process. Very, very like efficient. Yeah. That's right, much more efficient. Yeah. And, and, as far, and investors would probably like to know also that our company is, is really uh, evolved into a technology company, hmm. uh, a licensing and uh, joint venture type of company. I do not intend to build tons of steel in the Utah desert where our plant is now located. We can be a, a production company, a profitable uh, production company in our own right. But there are many oil sands around the world in places like uh, Afghanistan, Russia, China, the Dominican Republic, Trinidad, many places that have called and talked to us about utilizing our technology. Even Canada now realizes that our technology would help clean up some of the environmental issues that uh, Don has mentioned. So um, technology is a thing that we also see us in the forefront of, of what we have compared to being, we're not just strictly uh, an oil company and we have to make that distinction. So even though when the markets fluctuate, you know, we get affected because we're, we're associated with oil, right. but that's mm -hmm. not our total story. Okay, thank you. Anything you want to add to that, Don? The, um, the efficiency of the technology comes from using solvents as opposed to heat. Um, there's a metric used up in Canada, energy returned on energy invested. Uh, the hot water and steam extraction technology in Canada, you're getting a return of um, five to six times the amount of energy that you put into it, invest into it. With our technology, MCW gets from 25 to 30 times the amount of energy out that is put into it. So it's very, very energy efficient technology. And therein lies the, the one of the best parts about it is reduced uh, production costs. Um, at a, say a 5,000 barrel a day plant, we're looking at sub $20 barrel production costs. And uh, so the so margins are are better, are favorable. Yes, the margins yes. are, are yeah. better. Right. Precisely. Okay. You don't have to burn tremendous quantities of natural gas, so that energy efficiency also translates to economic efficiency. Okay, thank you very much for sharing the story of MCW Energy and, and energy in general. Very interesting, sure. all the new things that are going on. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation.